Hey friends, welcome to another Rolling with Ian video. Today is Saturday, August 6th, and uh, I'm just north of Bloor on Sherburn, and I'm going to sort of follow two bus routes today. There's 75 Sherburn, and then the bus it meets up with, which is the um, Rosedale bus. And I'm, all, I'm not going to take the Rosedale bus all the way to the S Rosedale subway station. I'm just going to take it to um, the, oh, um, to the little village that's up here in Rosedale. It's called the, uh, oh shoot, man, my brain's not uh, d handling things too well today. Oh yeah, Summer Hill Village. And uh, it's, you know, it's basically a few shops in there, a grocery store, and at one time there was a bank and inside a building that used to be a house. How do I know that one? Again, my ex-wife once was once the manager of that branch. They've since removed the branch, but it was one where you didn't come in for a counter. You sat down at the desk of the um, person working at the bank. It was kind of interesting. So, as I said, I, I came to, I came coming up Sherburn. Now, I wanted to just show this route, but I also want to show more of Rosedale. I've, I'm, I'm going to do, you know, a little series. I've already done one video on Rosedale. This will be another one. And uh, if you saw the video that is, but should have been dropped today, having problems uploading it, but uh, it, it was where I um, featured Forest Hill. Well, and again, Forest Hill Village. Oh. This is a small little street that I haven't seen before. Rachel Street. And I don't see a um, no exit sign. I'm curious. We're going to take this one over just to take a look. This isn't on the route of the 75. This is just me also ad-libbing and looking at what is uh, the what the situation here is in Rosedale. Now it does look like a, a dead end street, but it does, it seems to curve up. I'll go as far as the corner and I'll come back. Oh, beautiful puppy. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See again. So the street ends here actually, and it doesn't say that it's a, uh, it's a, I'm just recording a video about the neighborhood. Beautiful dog. Yes, you're a cutie. Oh, well, yeah. Well, most of the houses are single family dwelling. Well, almost all of them. So there's the rare apartment building in there, in here. And, and uh, these are not uh, low end apartments by any stretch of the imagination. because you're also paying for the neighborhood. Now those, that looks like sort of a interesting, that could have been at one time, uh, oh, look at the puppy. I get distracted. Um, it looks like it could have been one house at a time, but it looks now like it's several houses with, uh, yeah, like row type houses, but done really nicely. And they have their own, large oh yeah and there's some other apartment buildings back there oh this is a beautiful complex again i'm going to take a look around yeah I, again they look like sort of townhouse townhouse type uh, situation in here in all my years of coming up this way, I've never seen this before. So this is as new to me as it is to you, if you haven't been up here exploring. But from what I'm seeing, I guess I'll, maybe I can go still around further. Okay, I think I'm going to pull in here. Well, that's the closest 
11 and a half is the closest thing that uh, would make one of these houses accessible. A small ramp would get, get me in there. While I don't always harp about accessibility issues, it was something I just wanted to point out. You know what? This is gonna take me right back out to Sherburne. So I go back the way I came, I get to see the whole complex. I'm sure this is a condominium corporation type thing where these are all condos, townhouses. And it looks like this street is also a dead end street. And we're back at Sherburn Street. Sherburn and Ancroft Place. Okay, it looks like this building actually has some rental units available over there. I would be curious about the price of those. Oh, no, it's got no vacancy. I saw, well, it's a sign that usually would say there's vacancies or not, but it looks like there's no vacancies. Oh, I love the porch on that house. But again, what I'm doing, I'm just, while it's, uh, I could explore this neighborhood, very uh, in depth. I want to first do this video at some point and uh, just follow the two bus routes that do intersect on in this neighborhood. In fact, on um, Sundays and oh, on weekends, on weekends after six o'clock, the Sherburn bus does both um, routes and it goes up to Rosedale subway station. Well, this neighborhood is primarily, I would say primarily Victorian style homes. Um, I've been told that uh, there's also a lot of Edwardian style homes. And of course there's uh, uh, people who have inspired by a different, have rebuilt, have built something new inspired by another um, type of architecture. Like, I don't know where it is, but someone told me there's a house that it looks like it could have been designed by um, the guy who designed Falling Water in uh, in the U.S. Hmm. Okay, well, this building seems to go to a lot of apartment buildings. I did not even know there was this many apartment buildings in... Uh, Rosedale. <clears throat> oh yes, the design, the architect for Falling Water was um, uh, Frank Lloyd White. Bright, sorry. <clears throat> wow. My question is, could you imagine living in one of these houses and having to keep up the housework? I'm quite certain that most of these houses are uh, have um, made services that help them keep the place clean. <clears throat> Again, another beautiful home. I'm sure that there's, I could go on for just talking about the beautiful homes in this neighborhood, <clears throat> but that wasn't the uh, intended uh, 
use of this video. And it looks like they're building a, a brand new building down there. That would be a, just on the north side or facing the north side of Bloor at around, uh, well, it's, it's Carlton, not Carlton, sorry, um, Sherp, not Sherburn, but uh, oh, again, so many things on my brain today, and I'm, I'm, and I, and I, I haven't because also because I didn't script this, I didn't do too much research, and I love because I'd love to adventure, and you know, oh, Parliament Street, Parliament, and thing, but yeah. I wanted to adventure and take a look around because I've only really ever, for the most part, come through this area on a bus. So I really have not had a chance to sort of, um, I guess, smell the roses. Huh, see, there's that new development. I may have made a wrong turn, but uh, we'll see. Because I haven't seen a bus stop for a while. I guess I've been so... Uh, oh, my God, look at that balcony. I am so fascinated with some of the homes and trying to... Uh, find some commentary that I think I may have missed the... Uh, the bus route where they were moved to. But hey, I'll always pick up. I know generally that I'm heading east and uh, eventually have to turn north. I'm just going to go down as far as this street here is and uh, see where this leads. Again, not one of these times I haven't planned a video, I planned it roughly. I could have stuck to the route if I really concentrate on it, but that's not really the way um, I intend, I've always intended on rolling. And sometimes it's not because I choose to uh, roll a different direction. Sometimes it's got to do with the, uh, the path I'm taking uh, prevents me from following the main route. to Hawthorne Gardens. Okay, I'm actually gonna go up this street because uh, where the Hawthorne Gardens begins, that's actually also uh, where a path that I took down through the valley and ended up, well, in my location to be um, at the Evergreen Brickworks. And yes, I am riding on the road. There's not very many, there's not much traffic and it's much smoother. Well, it's still bumpy, but it's much smoother than going on a, a sidewalk, which it has a bump every three feet. Oh, that is a sweet car. And it looks like from here, it's a, it's a ragtop. Oh, I have a weakness for... Oh, no, it's not. Well, it might be a hardtop convertible. But see, any type of convertible I have a weak disorder. So what kind of car is this? I cannot tell. Let me take a look at the side. Maybe there's a... No, there's nothing on there. There's no logo that I could go and look up. Oh, I don't want to go on these people's property, but it is... Oh, that's just the light. Well, if anyone knows what kind of car is this... Oh, and it's right-hand drive. If you know what kind of car this is, drop, a, drop me a note in the uh, comments section. 
because that is one beautiful car. Like, see, while it's not, uh, I don't know the architecture style of that, but it's something that I actually think is nicely done. I've never been a fan of, dry, of garages being the fr first thing to see of a house, but that was done nicely where it's underneath, you know, the main floor. Like, my favorite are houses where there's either a back lane where the park garage goes or it has uh, uh, parking sorry I'm trying to figure out where I am here or it has a driveway that goes to the back of the house okay so it looks like no that's not it, that might I thought that was the entrance but it's not I'm not going into the Hawthorne Gardens but uh, I just wanted to uh, show you where it is you know I, as much as i wanted to follow that route of the sherburn bus i'm actually enjoying this much more now i should be on the sidewalk to read this plaque but i hope i can read it from here Okay, it's something about a tree. But what caught my interest is it looks like the flag of France. Huh. I'm just very curious about that house now. Hmm. See, there's some nice uh, townhouses. This is a, a an architecture style I don't think fits in this neighborhood. But who am I to make that judgment? It just aesthetically doesn't look like it doesn't represent the neighborhood. It's just like even that house that really doesn't. See, that there is, uh, I believe they call it cottage style, or um, I'm trying to remember that to, but it doesn't have the high roofs that usually is associated with that. I'd say these are probably products of the 70s or maybe late 60s. Unlike some of the homes that are, I could, I could probably guess, probably date back about 100 years or so. Okay, South Drive is where I know I know that street because that's where the Sherburn bus comes to. So that means we're really close. Yeah, okay. There is the entrance to the park. And then you have to go to the left to go down into the uh, valley. So it's up here. where the Rosedale bus and the Sherburn bus would meet. A little bit of a detour, but I, I knew I could get back to this eventually. 
Oh, it's an orange helicopter. Oh, for those of you who are not from uh, Canada or Ontario, um, orange is, and it has a weird spelling, but orange is the name of the um, uh, helicopter ambulance. Okay, so this is Elm. That's the, now this route here is the 75. And I'm trying to find the stop where the Rosedale bus intersects with it. I'm going to have to go back on the sidewalk here, and I believe it's down this way. I don't know the frequency of the uh, Rose, Rosedale buses, but the uh, Sherburn are quite frequent, even on weekends. I know I'm being a little quiet right now because I really don't have anything to say about these places. They're, they're, they sort of fit each other in a cookie cutter kind of way, but they don't suit the neighborhood. I love, look at the intricate uh, molding on that building around the balcony. Hopefully the camera picked that up. Okay, so I believe that's the stop to go up to Rosedale. That's the stop for the Sherburn bus and that's the stop for the Sherburn bus. And this here has 75, but it's not in red, it's in white, which makes me believe that this is for the after hours and weekend times, that this is the stop for the 75. Okay, I'm going to go over to the other side of the street because I see a... No, okay, maybe not. I thought I saw like a sign talking about the uh, the bridge here, but I'm not sure. But also, that's just the shady part of the street, so any shade I can get, I'll take. Because today has been somewhat overcast, but when the sun comes out, <clears throat> boy, it comes out. Oh, now look at this place. See, again... Um, this is a nice, nicely done house. I love the gate. Yep. Again, it's getting bumpy. Sometimes I wish I had a, a chair with bigger wheels and uh, more off-road capability. I actually saw a video on YouTube where this uh, guy, him and his wife were active and uh, very active and he would jog and bike and all this and oftentimes it would be like mountain biking. So it's called, it's, this is not a wheelchair is the company or something similar to that. And he built a, um, uh, a mobility device for his wife that, and now for others that really is uh, all, you know, fast and off-road and anything somebody wants it to be. Okay, so let's take a look down the down the valley. You can see possibly, but I can't, but hey. I don't know if you can see, maybe there's a way through the, yeah. When I get over the bridge more, I'll see if I can point the uh, camera down through the, uh... oh. Now it looks like there's a trail right below there.
I know I sometimes fumble my words and uh, <clears throat> it's just who I am. Uh, I've got a, uh, I'm a sponge of knowledge and then all of a sudden uh, I can't sometimes spit it out. <clears throat> what I was also looking on this bridge for was a date placard but I have not seen one. Maybe there's one here at the end to say when the built bridge was built. <clears throat> so I didn't see one at the other side. And there's a number there, but that's like a street number or something. It's like been painted on there and there's no sort of Nothing on either side of the street. Wow. I love the, the towers in that house. It'd be awesome to have a round bed in a room like that as your bedroom. <clears throat> It's a nice house. Some of the houses, that, you know, because of the age and the <clears throat> the type of neighborhood this is, some of the houses in this neighborhood are a lot like the uh, houses you fe you find in um, Forest Hill. But I'd say that Rosedale is more of a it's a much more older and established area. Okay, so there is the 82 Rosedale. And I don't know whether he's coming down. Well, yeah, he's going across the bridge, he's coming down. So, I'm going to go. No, I'm going to continue this way, I think. See if he comes back this way. Oops. I just need to fix something on the back of my, my chair. My umbrella has came out of the <coughs> holder. <coughs> oh, they got a nice private lane. <coughs> I wonder what's happening with that house. We got a temporary fence all the way around it. Oh, it's there's probably having their roof done. That would probably, you know, for safety, keep the uh, people from getting injured, I guess. Most uh, roofing jobs that I've come past didn't see a temporary fence around the building. Okay, so now we're at Bin Scarth and Glen Road. And Glen Road actually goes right down to uh, Bloor, except there's a pedestrian bridge between, I guess, the bottom of Glen Road and the Glen Road that uh, is at the Sherburn subway station alternative entrance. Uh, I've seen other people's videos where they've walked across that bridge, but unfortunately at uh, one end of the bridge, there's some stairs. So I really couldn't take that as a route to get to Glen Road sub e on going either way. Okay, well, it seems we are on track because I can, there's uh, now one of the uh, bus stops. So I'm going to assume that we are going the right way. Because also this is starting to look familiar from when I used to drive up here to come to this area. 
It's a nice little parkette across the way. And it looks like this, they may have recently redid this to change the shape of the road, especially with new uh, concrete and all that. Uh, similar to uh, something that I saw occurring and a gentleman was not happy with who lived in the uh, Forest Hill area. He, you know, it looked, it, it did look like shoddy workmanship in the sense they, they had spilt um, like tar all over the thing. They left markings from their uh, tire tracks. Most of it's cosmetic, but he had his points and I wasn't going to challenge him on them <clears throat> because I believe he has that right to, you know, to express that. Oh. And what is the name of this church? It looks quite old. Well, there's no sign. Oh, there's a sign over there. Yeah, see, you can tell that that, again, they've uh, basically made the corners more, less sort of like a, an easy way to turn and more of forcing you to stop and forcing you to um, take a right turn rather than a right curve or a left curve. All right, Roxborough Drive is here, and this is the, oh, Rosedale United Church. Again, another beautiful home. I know I can say that all day around here. You know, I think, if what I understand, the reason they did a lot, they're doing a lot of this uh, redoing of roads is basically, um, and changing the corners, is a safety issue. I'm sure the city engineers had noticed this and had been complaints about accidents or something like that and because uh, in this neighborhood do they uh, when they want the attention of City Hall they get it oh wow see this house they've got the um, same sort of gates the same style as the one up on their balcony, as the uh, railing. See, oh, there's that car. And oh, it is partially convertible. The back window goes down. That's, I would have liked to have uh, really known what that car was. But if you know, hey, let me know. Actually, the last time I took this route, um, I was c coming up here to meet a gentleman who I was buying a printer off of. And uh, he literally, and then I guess he needed, I can't remember exactly why I had to you know, see him again, but he literally, the bus stopped, he walked on the bus, handed me the printing, it was his cartridge, I think, and then got off and I didn't ha I just rode back to uh, Sherburn okay well Glen Road continues to the right I believe I need and I need to go to the left To get to Rose, get to that village, Summerhill Village. Yeah, here Summerhill Avenue begins, so it is along here. Actually, this was the bus stop where 
I stopped and uh, the guy just got on the bus. He knew I was in the chair and he just came in and handed me stuff and he just lives up here somewhere. That was uh, just last summer. See here, I, I, probably those houses face the street to the south of here and their garages are on this north section. I think that, I like that. And here is the Summerhill Market. And most of the, most times it's uh actually there's not very many cars in the, in the in their parking lot. It's usually quite busy, especially on weekends. So there's a bakery along here. And a interior design place. And there's the uh, Dulce Bakery. Espresso and other beverages. And it's good to see they have uh, the bike share rack here and people are using them. Marshall's Drugs. I don't know what Rosedale's Finest is. But that's because I believe that is where the bank once was. That was the building I think the TD was in. Yeah, I'm almost certain now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, rolling through Rosedale video. And uh, I hope you'll join me on future adventures. I am hoping to get another video done today after I film this one. But that one there, I might be uh, taking, having to take a long bus ride to get back to. And uh, I just have to... Oh, they've got paninis as well at this place. See, something you see it when I went back. Now, I remember uh, coming up here um, during the week in the summer and at lunchtime, they actually had a outside the market they were they had like a barbecue and they were you know doing hot dogs and sausages and other things and you know it was a some people were able to buy buy their lunch here and, oh yeah and they were did hamburgers too there's no sign of that today so maybe they're not as uh, busy on weekends And yeah, then the traffic picks up. But uh, again, I'm going to end this video soon. And I uh, want to thank you for rolling with me. I look forward to hearing your, your comments, suggestions. Maybe smash that like button. And uh, don't forget, if you, if you, uh, you want to see more of my content and know when I'm going live, you might want to subscribe. And you might want to hit that little notification bell. That will tell you when, well, most of the time it will tell you when I'm going live. Sometimes it doesn't cooperate, which is unfortunate. Okay, again, this has uh, been a little bit of a long video. And uh, 
I will uh, just say I look forward to rolling with you again real soon. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and smash that like button.